Hi everyone, my name is Brent Sewer and welcome back to a new video here on my channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a little uh, more different video than my others, uh, where I build things. In, but in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you, or I'm not gonna be showing, I'm gonna talk about if Planet Zoo is worth it. So. Um, I have uh, taken yes some inspiration from Rudy Rain Camel in this video, so you don't have to comment that. Uh, but um, it's so I have five things I'm going to talk about, and it is uh, the first thing is is it worth it? The second thing is graphics. The third thing is gameplay. The fourth. Thing is is the DLC worth it the five thing is creativity so I should say that we uh, would be just uh, let's get started into it uh, now um, so first up is it worth it? okay so if you are a very creative guy like me and uh, loves animals and maybe zoos well then it's kind of worth it but if you don't like crea creativity and you do not um, and you do not like uh, animals and don't choose well then you should not buy it um, but if you love animals well and you like to be very very creative then you should buy it then it's worth it uh, if you like creativity um, so yeah and now uh, that was a very very uh, short tab but let's go to the second thing and that is graphics so the graphics in this game is really really good um, they have uh, done the water very very good when animals swim in it, when animals swim in it and you are like down below there under the water and you wa and you watch up um, you like look up to the animal where it swims and then it looks very very realistic so that's uh, something uh, uh, that the graphics is very good at and then you have all the trees uh, and plants they are very very uh, they, they look very very realistic and then you have the animals they are super super really realistic and yes so now I will be giving the, the graphics an a nine I will be giving it um, so yeah that's very much but that's because the graphics is very very good in this game uh, but something I do not like is the people everything is so it's like very good graphics but the people is not um, but I don't uh, like get frustrated or something about that because I like that I like the, their style of the people so yes and now we come to the third thing gameplay well the gameplay is really good if you like to be creative and just build something well sandbox is something for you but if you like to like be an owner of a zoo and actually like control it and like uh, make sure that everything's okay well then franchise mode is something for you or if you just like campaigns well then career is something for you so I would I don't know what I just said there but but and but something I don't get is why does you have to hide the stuff buildings I mean if you see a staff building in a zoo it's not that you just like oh what the hell like you you don't get frustrated or something like that you don't get unhappy because if you see a staff building like maybe a vet vet building you don't get frustrated you get glad I could say because you see something that helps the animals and that's 
a very positive thing. It's not a negative thing that you can see stuff buildings and then like uh, yeah, it, it's very very bad that they have done there. Uh, and uh, then you have to make sure that every single animal have like water. Uh, water machine so their um, water is clean and like uh, electricity um, I don't know how you get much money in franchise that's why I play sandbox and that's also why I to I always play in sandbox because I like to create things uh, from my own uh, foundation not from something um, like from um, another foundation that we went to other people and stuff. I like to create my own things. And that's why I always play sandbox. So, yes, but that was the gameplay. I will be giving the gameplay a 6 out of 5. Uh, no, what? No, 6. Uh, uh, 6 and that uh, icon and then 5. You, you know what I mean. Um, and that's because I don't get these staff buildings, and then it's much more things that I don't get. Uh, I don't, I don't like franchise or career mode so much, but I have played career mode pretty much to learn the foundation of the game. But then I just playing sandbox over and over. So, uh, and now we come to the fourth thing, and that is: is the DLC worth it? Well. If you like the game very much, and uh, or if you love, uh, where you you remember when I talk about is it worth it in the first tab? Well, if if you are like uh, if you can relate with that and you are a very creative guy, and you know that you're gonna like this game, and you watch other YouTubers and like that stuff, well, then the DLC is worth it. Oh shit, um, so, yes, and now we come to the create creativity, the fifth tab now, and that is, um, um, uh, well, I'm just gonna say 10 out of 10, uh, no, not 10 out of 10, but it can get like uh, 9 and then that icon and then 5, um, so yes, um, um, because the creativity is very good, there are very very much pieces in the base game, there are also very much pieces in the game, base game, so you can create very much things with the base game pieces also, but if you have all DLC like I have, well then you can create so many things. Um, so yes, and then no, we uh, you you can create habitats from uh, just a little little habitat with the, uh, with the the base game barriers to like your own fort. <laughs> like so, the creativity in this game is top notch. It's very very very. Very good creativity. As I said, nine and then uh, that icon and then five. So yes. So is Plan Zoo worth it? Well, if you can relate these that I just talked about, and you think you are very creative, you are very creative, and you love animals. Well, then Plan Zoo is worth it. So, I wish that you have now stayed here with me now guys, so, um, if you liked the video and you found this video very helpful, if you want to buy Plantsu, well, hit that subscribe button and do not miss my future videos, my next video will be what I built for the GNU, so yes. But I catch you in the next one, guys. So, bye.